Hello there, Libra. Thank you so much for stopping by for your monthly in-depth tarot video forecast. So this forecast is for the month of March. We're going to start off with March the 1st through the 14th, and then the second half of the video will be March 15th through the 31st. Those of you who are cross-watchers, you are welcome to be here to find out whatever it is that you would like to know about the Libras who are focused on in this video. However, you should know that on my channel, energies are not reversible. That means that this video is about Libra and for Libra. So if you want to find a video that is about you and for you, you want to look at your own sun sign, your own moon sign, or your own rising sign, or whatever combination thereof floats your boat. Okay, so let's just jump in Libra and get started. First, we are going to look at your environment. And you should know that your environment is any place where you have energy or effort invested. For most of you, it'll be home, but it could be someplace else as well. So you want to sort of keep an open mind as I'm talking about this environment. So it looks like there's a lot of stress going on in your environment right now. And a lot of that stress is actually causing you to manifest some of the things that you don't want because it looks like in your environment you're sort of focusing on those things that you're afraid of or that you're anxious about or that you don't want and so focusing on those is actually getting you in a point where you're manifesting those now you have strong intuition it's time to pay attention to it pay attention to that intuition when it comes to your environment that is going to give you a heads up about when things are going on that you need to change the energy around that you need to do something different make some different decisions take some different action don't ignore that intuition because if you do pay more attention to it then you start manifesting some of those things that you actually want to manifest instead of those things that you are dreading or anxious about all right so the next Thing that we're looking at Libras for this particular time frame is your subconscious leanings it looks like what you're doing is you are forgiving somebody or else you're letting go of some type of negative energy some type of hurt of insult of offense you're letting it go you're letting it be part of the past you're not carrying that pain in you anymore you are releasing that and as you're releasing that you are getting ready you're preparing yourself to come together and work together with somebody else in a responsible way. So you're looking at letting go of something negative so that you can come together with somebody else without making them pay for whatever negative energy you were holding on to before because now you've let it go and so it's not going to come out misdirected at somebody else. So that's what's going on in your subconscious. You're basically doing a little bit of deep healing work there. Nice to see that, Libras. Good for you. Next thing that I'm looking at does talk to me about your learning style and also your communication style. So learning during this time frame, you're really sharp, Libras, and I think that that pretty much always shows up. And I think that whatever it is that you want to learn about, I see you going in and finding that information very specifically and moving forward with it. Absolutely. Um, I think that some of the information that you're picking up during this time frame, you're actually having other people pick up for you and bring that back to you. And I feel like some of the information that you're learning during this time frame, actually you're picking up through dreams or through meditation for some of you. All right. Excuse me a moment. I'll be right back. Sorry about that. So let's look next at your communication style during this time frame it does look to me like whatever you're communicating to the people who you are around is very solid communication i don't think that there's really any room for anybody to say that they don't understand what it is that you're trying to convey to them i don't think there's really any reason for you for them to question what you're trying to say I do think there is some conversation going on during this time that does have to do with the idea of savings and inheritance, legacy, what you may be doing with, um, with your savings and with your resources. And I also feel like there is some um, conversation here having to do with productivity, possibly even fertility itself, but definitely productivity 
and um, ability to um, replenish or to reproduce what you already have. Okay, so the next thing that we are looking at talks to me about your work, Libras. So what do we have? Looks like there's been something going on at work, some kind of drama that's been playing out, and it looks like there is some healing coming into that situation. I think you're very focused on work, and right now part of what's going on at work is something that you're not exactly thrilled about doing or about being a part of, but it is work. <laughs> It is work, and it does bring in a paycheck. So we're happy to see that, Libra. That's at least some kind of beginning. Now, the next thing that we're looking at here for you does have to do with that part of your personality, which is growing or expanding during this particular time frame, Libras. It looks like there's been some kind of fight or argument that has gone on with somebody in your sphere of influence. And I think that you know, in this fight or this argument, you were defending or standing up for something that you believe in that's important to you. And because of this, I think that you may have parted ways with this person and you are starting something new. You're going out on your own and starting something new, um, having to do with that thing that you believe in that you were standing up for in this fight with this other person. So some type of new beginning that's showing up there. The next thing that we are looking at talks to me about those things that you stand for. So this is a situation that um, you stand for and somebody has probably asked you about this or confronted you about this. So you've had to explain about this situation or maybe even defend this situation. So what we're looking at here is that you have been looking at things really logically, especially when it comes to something that you've been doing with somebody else and you've really been enjoying whatever that activity was and I think that you have been looking at this really logically and you have decided that it is worth it for you to put energy or put finances towards being able to do more of this because it is so enjoyable for you and the other person or the other people involved. Now once you've explained the situation or defended the situation to somebody else, how they feel is they feel like you're not being really very responsible and they feel like you're sort of um, alienating yourself um, from them and they feel like, you know, you are basically trying to pick up some kind of pieces in a situation and they feel like you're actually creating a bigger situation that you're going to have to pick up the pieces to later on. That's their perspective. I'm not saying either way. You know what you have going on in your life. I'm not here to judge you. I'm just here to read the cards and help you to get a perspective on what's going on so that you can move forward in a more conscious and aware way. Now let's look next at your flex point, Libra. What's coming up during your flex point? It looks like things are going really good for you in some aspects of life. Um, things are coming really easy to you as far as your self-esteem and how you feel, your relationships with other people, you're very outgoing, you can make people laugh, you're really enjoying that. For some of you, I think that you may be doing some type of performing, whether it's official performing or whether it's just personal performances. Um, but the problem that I see here is that even though things are going really good, you're you're really you're blowing your budget here. So you're overspending or you're under earning one of those two. And I think that that's since things are going really good, it's probably more of overspending is more what I would lean towards as I'm looking at this. So you want to be aware coming into this time frame that that's going to be a temptation because you have free will. You can change that if you'd like. You don't want to blow your budget just because you're doing well. Now, the next thing that's going on during this same time frame, I feel like you are feeling really good about yourself. Your self-esteem is in a really, really nice place. And you are associating with people who 
you know, there's a lot of give and take in the relationships. And so that's helping you with your self-esteem. And I think that's especially important because right now you, it does look like you're dealing with somebody who has some narcissistic tendencies. And somebody who has some narcissistic tendencies can sort of, you know, really do a big bashing on our self-esteem. So I think having that support network, having those friends around where you have that equal give and take is really helping you a lot as you're integrating or as you're interacting, I want to say, with this person who can have narcissistic tendencies. What else is happening here? I kind of feel like the person with the narcissistic tendencies may be the one that is sort of drawing you to um, spend bigger than your budget. So, uh, you know, just be aware. <laughs> be aware. So what else is going on at this time? <sighs> yes, okay. So you've got a trickster that's showing up in your sphere of influence. And it looks like this person, yeah, this person is really working on your self-esteem. Like they're saying some things that could be knocking down your self-esteem. If you didn't have that support network over here of friends, I think this person would do a lot more damage than what they're doing whenever I see them show up. But this is, when I say this is a trickster, this is somebody who doesn't shoot straight. They're not honest. They can be manipulative. And they really, they can come at you like they're Mr. Nice Guy or Ms. Nice Lady and have ulterior motives that they're really working on you against. And I feel like this person is actually, even though your self-esteem is staying pretty high in spite of them because of the friends you have around you, they are actually causing you to slide backwards on some of your targets, some of your goals in life because you're so busy trying to make them happy. So once again, just something that you want to be aware of when we have those kinds of influences come in in our life, if we're aware of what we're doing instead of letting them take us by surprise, then we have that opportunity to course correct. Let's look at the end of this particular time frame. So around March 13th or 14th, I do see that there's something that you have put on the back burner you haven't been putting a lot of energy or effort into. Now you're bringing that forward. You're putting a lot of energy and effort into something that you used to really work on before. And I feel like this is actually releasing you from some restrictions that you've been under. Being able to put in this energy and effort has more or less freed you in a certain aspect of your life. And I think that this is allowing you to go back and look at other parts of your life that you used to also be involved in whenever you were involved with this thing that is now on the front burner that used to be on the back burner and see where you can actually grow and expand where there's untapped potential just waiting for you. So that's where we are at the middle of March. Let me go ahead and wrap this up. I'm going to take a little break and when I come back we'll look at the rest of the month for you Libra. See you soon. All right, Libras, we are back again. Let's just jump right in. We're going to look at your environment for the time frame from March 15th through the 31st. It looks like there's a lot going on here that really is uh, contributing to your mood. And I think that right now what we're looking at is that you're not feeling so hot. You may be feeling a little bit depressed. Definitely you've got the blues. There's a lot of confusion going on in your environment and things just really are not working smoothly as we're looking at your environment. So there's, there are some challenges here to overcome. And the first challenge to overcome has to do with the confusion. I think if you can clear up whatever confusion is around the environment, then that helps things to start going better. That also helps you to come out of that depression because you can put together an action plan so that's what I really would like to see you guys doing during this time frame is just working on wiping out the confusion so you can move forward in a sensible way. The next thing that I'm looking at talks to me about your subconscious leanings, Libra. And it looks to me like you are looking at the fact that there's something going on that has been disappointing to you. And I think that it started off as there was this sense of relief uh, coming in 
And I think that what's going on is you're being very careful with your budget, being very careful with your energy, trying to make sure that you're not overspending, that you're doing what you need to do to replenish yourself. And there's something here that is a little bit of disappointment for you. It looks like there's something that sort of has to be sacrificed for you to keep your budget moving forward the way that you want it to. And I think that, you know, you're kind of feeling, you're kind of feeling it. You're kind of feeling that sacrifice in the subconscious. And I think in your subconscious, you're working on, okay, how do I, how do I make the things happen that I want to have happen? So I like it that we're seeing some kind of relief here, but at the same time, you know, we do have that challenge of, even though there's relief, not everything is just within reach just yet. So your subconscious is working on that, getting everything into reach. Now, the next thing that we're looking at talks to me about your learning style and also your communication style. So learning style during this time frame, I do feel like there is a subject that you have a lot of information on. And I feel like you're actually <clears throat> teaching about this to other people. And I think that you're learning as you teach. You know, they always say that as you teach, you learn something at a deeper level. I think this is exactly what's happening to you as I'm looking at this. I also feel like there is some information that you've been holding on to for a long time. I think that you're coming into a point where you can finally use that information and you're seeing the benefits of that information that you've had. I think you've had it for a long time, just haven't had a chance to use it. Now you're using it. And then also, whenever we come into learning style, the next thing that I'm looking at is, I think that there is something else that you know a whole lot about. I feel like this is a different topic than what I saw in the beginning. And I think that you are preparing to build on that information. I'm not sure you're actually getting that information right now. You may be signing up for a class or putting aside payment for a class. But you are preparing to build on the information that you have already. Now, next thing that I'm looking at does talk to me about communication style. I do feel like there's somebody in your sphere of influence or in your life that you're not communicating with as much as usual. I think you're sort of holding back. You're thinking things over before you really say too much to them right now. I feel like also there is something going on with your emotions that you're talking about to somebody. This could be a counselor or this could be a friend, but definitely some communication about some things going on in your heart chakra or in your emotions. And then I think also there's somebody in your sphere of influence that you're communicating to, but you're more communicating in implications and hints. I don't think that you're being very direct with this person. I think you're really trying to feel out where they are so that you kind of know how they'll take something if you would bring it out just full on in the light of day. Excuse me, so we're back and let's look at work during this time frame for you Libras. So what I have coming up here is that you are manifesting the things that you want whenever it comes to work. You are getting those things out of work. The thing is though that there is somebody in that environment at work who is They've really treated you badly. They have stabbed you in the back, basically, and betrayed you. But what's interesting is even though they've done that, you have managed to come out on top. You have managed to come out um, creating what it is that you want out of this situation. It's almost like this person, by doing what they did, set you up to come into a better situation than what you could have really pictured yourself in before and so i think that actually is really beautiful and it's a good idea um the way this setup is looking on my table it's a good idea to appreciate that space that you're coming into i think it could be very easy for you to have the mindset to where you don't appreciate it because of how you got there but if you can change that mindset and really appreciate it anyway I think that's going to help you take this even further. Like I said, the energy, the way it sits right now, is you not really appreciating it because of how you got there. So this is advice. This isn't what I see happening. This is advice. It's going to take some of your free will to actually make that happen so that you can make this bounce, up, bounce back um, that much more effective and last that much longer. 
okay so next thing that I'm looking at looks like to me that part of your personality which is being grown or expanded as we go through this um, time frame so when I'm looking at these cards what I'm seeing is that you're not feeling very enthusiastic about some things right now but you are doing some inner work I think we saw that in your last time frame too and as you're doing this inner work your attitude is changing your perspective is changing and you are starting to have more enthusiasm and more energy about some things we have a little challenge here and that challenge is that while you weren't feeling so enthusiastic um, someone might have sort of moved in on your territory a little bit and so as you're getting your enthusiasm back you are realizing that you have to defend your space now you have to defend your turf and you have to basically reclaim it because while you didn't have the energy to hold it and keep somebody from invading it now that you have that energy you have to go back and you have to take that space back you have to put people on notice look I'm the one making these decisions about this area of my life right now you're not thank you for filling the gap when I couldn't but it is time for me to come back in and hold my space so I think you're going to be putting people on notice as you come in and take your rightful place back okay so and that could be very much geographically but definitely figuratively I think figuratively for most of you now the next thing that I'm looking at here Libra has to do with those things that you stand for those things that you defend and what I'm seeing is that you have somebody in your sphere of influence who also has been going through a, a very depressed phase where they have some problems they really don't know how to find the solutions to and that's not normal for them they usually breeze through to solutions whenever they're dealing with problems and I think that you are feeling kind of restricted when it comes to this person and that restriction is something that you're putting on yourself I don't think that this person is is keeping up boundaries between the two of you I don't feel like this person is restricting you but I think that you're looking at this person and you're assuming some things and putting restrictions on yourself when it comes to this person and what's happening is that you are then making yourself miss this person or feel lonely about this person and so this is what you're standing up for this is what you're explaining is this particular situation and how it came to be so this person that you're explaining or defending this situation to sees you as somebody who is really doing some healing right now and somebody who you know you're in this kind of funky spot but still doing some healing and making progress and they're they're watching you and they're looking at this whole situation and they're thinking about the idea that you know you've been so focused on this other person and what you can or can't do in regards to helping them or being there for them that you've kind of quit taking care of yourself you've quit any kind of self-care and so I feel like this person is going to be um, sort of reminding you of priorities and sort of reminding you that you know maybe where you've been with this other person and worrying about them is not the most healthy place and maybe it would be healthier if you would take some time to replenish yourself I feel like this person is um, legitimately genuinely concerned for your health mental and emotional health if not physical health as well okay now let's look next at your flex point during this time frame this is where things start to take on a different um, direction because you're putting in a different perspective so I do feel like you are walking away from something where you were feeling like you were getting depleted and not replenished at all and as you're walking away from that thing I think that you're doing it in this dramatic rash way you're kind of burning your bridge as you're walking over it because you want to take control of your own life you want to be making those decisions for yourself again and so I think that what's going on is yes you are leaving a situation that was leaving you depleted where somebody else was 
definitely getting a lot more out of that situation than what you were in return. Um, but I think that that situation, you know, if you're getting this reading and you've got that heads up, that situation might be something that you want to, or that person might be someone that you want to return back to at some point in the future. So if you can help it, if you can keep yourself from doing it, it might be a good idea not to exactly burn that bridge as you walk across it. I'm not saying don't walk across that bridge, but I am saying, you know, you don't have to torch it on the way. <laughs> and in fact, it may be better for you if you keep this person, you know, on friendly terms as you walk away from this situation. All right. And now the next thing that I'm looking at is what else is going on during this time frame. Now, it looks like there's something that you're doing that people are really appreciating. They're letting you know how much they appreciate you. You've got a lot of communication coming in during this time frame. But there is a, an element of heartache here. And I think what's going on is um, that there's somebody that you wished could be around to see and appreciate this. Now, for some of you, this is going to be someone that you used to be in a relationship or a partnership with, and they're just... They've just moved on and they're doing something else. But for others of you, I feel like this is somebody who has passed away that you wish that um, they could see how other people are appreciating your work and letting you know how important you are to them. What else is going on? I do think you're taking some time off actually during this time as well, some time away from work. And you are taking some time to just do some things to pamper yourself. You're taking that self-care advice very seriously and finding ways to pamper yourself. And I think you're also looking at what are some other things that you could do to improve your life at this moment. And you're, you're really, I don't see you taking any action right now, but I do see you really considering what are my options? What are things that I could take action on um, if I decided that that was the priority to work on? So where do we see you at the end of this month, Libra? We do see you going through some serious transition, making some changes and making some big changes from the inside out, changing that perspective, changing how you interact with the world in a very good way. And I think you're coming to peace with yourself. You're also coming to peace with uh, some other people in your sphere of influence. You're coming to this point of acceptance that this is just who they are, and this is who I am, you know, and if we don't really mesh exactly 100% perfectly, well, that's okay. That's okay. I think they're coming to a point of acceptance there. And I think that you're coming into a place where um, you're not feeling your strongest. I think that this is a place where you're a little bit emotionally vulnerable. There are things going on in your life as you're making this transition that may even be kicking off this transition that you're making that has you feeling less than your strongest. You may be feeling like, you know, you're just not your full self. I think you're distracted by something that has been happening, maybe by the idea that you're missing this person. And I think that you're very aware of that energy as we're coming into the end of the month. So self-care. <laughs> really important at this time frame don't just do you know a one and done self-care try to get your self-care get you a self-care schedule or routine going so that you know you can start replenishing yourself no matter what you're going through right now okay so that's what i've got for the month for you libra i hope you find this beneficial thank you very much for being here for all the thumbs ups and the shares and thank you also for excuse me for ordering private readings and private Reiki sessions, those of you who do that. And if I don't see it in between now and then for a private reading or Reiki session, then I will see you guys back on the next video. Peace out.